So, wir sind jetzt hier am Garmin-Stand angelangt, auf der Fort Lauderdale Boat Show in der Elektronikhalle, etwas größer als ich das sonst so kenne. Hm? Und bei mir gegenüber steht Pontis. Pontis ist von der Firma Garmin, klar, da sind wir am Stand. Und Pontis, so, please show me, you have some news for us. Yes, we have uh, just briefly announced um, the new Ecomap. Uh, plus series, uh, which where we have added the UHD technology, the okay. ultra high definition yes. scanning sonar. In the past, we had it in the biggest screens, the 12s and the 10. Yeah. That also now comes down to the nine and also the seven inch products. Cool. Uh, and so also cool, actually cool. the six inch product, but the UHD on the six inch, six inch is only what we call clear view, which ah, is down. Okay. So okay. if you want to look to the sides, it's the okay. seven and nine that's also well, that not getting sense. the. That makes yeah. sense because you need the biggest screen. So. Exactly. So, and that is the, the totally difference to the older model. So you can use the better transducer with the tra for, uh, 54, I think. Yeah, so in the past we had a transducer that was GT52, which was high, high wide chirp, yep. uh, which actually gave you great depth even in coastal waters. I've actually personally seen it doing 252 meters okay. in Greece okay. on high wide chirp. It's just crazy. Uh, but the, the scanning technology now, when we go up to 1200 kilohertz, 800 on the clear view down, and on the side view we go up to 1200 kilohertz, they give you much higher resolution. Of course, it is, the higher the resolution, the less depth you will get. Uh, it's physics. Also für alle die, die das jetzt nicht verstanden haben, er sagt, er hat 800 Kilohertz für den Clear View, also für den Blick nach unten, und 1000 Kilohertz bzw. im Megahertz Bereich für den Sidescan. Das gibt natürlich viel, viel mehr Informationen, aber ist auch logisch, dass der Sidescan dann natürlich nicht so extrem tief geht. Macht aber auch keinen Sinn, denn wir wollen klare Bilder auch vom flachen Wasser haben. So, and they, they are com uh, compatible to the charts and yeah. normal way we, yeah, we had every, it everything, so everything we, is the same? Yes, we, we have the same chart and through the Active Captain app you can always duplicate your, your chart. and Quick and draw contours quick, also? Quick draw contours, of course. Okay, perfect. Uh, since we also bought Navionics last year, we're adding a lot more of those features in as yeah. well with Sonar Shot Shading and to build even more and better cartography cool. uh, to go with each units. Cool. So and that will be interesting for the normal sport fishing market, I think. So, yes, definitely. So the smaller units, yeah, yeah, cool. But still, the 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 features with the quick release mount. Now it's actually locked yeah, here okay, because okay. otherwise someone's <laughs> going to steal it. But the way how you can just yeah, take so it off with a cradle and. Er sagt gerade die Halterung ist übrigens geblieben. Also dann habt ihr die Halterschale und könnt das Display vorne draufstecken. Schön ist dann natürlich, wenn man es vom Boot runternehmen muss und man geht's weg. It's okay. Ah, okay, no. So, oops. Yeah. So, man kann halt das ganze Gerät rausnehmen und dann wieder aufstecken. Cool. So, that are these models. Is there something more new for the sport fishing market? Yeah, we are a little bit on the on the higher end. Uh, if we walk over yeah. here. Okay, wir gehen jetzt mal rüber. So, da drüben ist noch gerade besetzt. Da müssen wir ein bisschen warten. Und auf dem Weg dahin ist der neue Garmin Motor. It's a new motor. motor. Yes. So. You have the full integration in the chart plotter and the yes. steering system? Or? Yeah, so this is our first trolley motor. The Force it comes in two sizes, 50 and 57 inch shaft. Uh, we really worked hard to get this motor out in the market and also to build a very robust and, and good product. Um, it's a lot of German technology in this one, actually. <laughs> um, the motors are brushless, which is a huge benefit, of course, because then you don't have to worry, worry about quiet, changing your brush brushes, but also the quietness. Uh, there's been a lot of tests with uh, different trolling motors in the market, and this is by far the most quiet one. It's yeah. really massive. So. Yeah. Uh, since it's, it's, it's smart built, it runs on both 24 and uh, 36 volt. So it's up to the customer to choose. And then, of course, if you wire it up with 36 volt, you're going to get a lot more fishing out of one charge. Okay. Um, so we say that we probably fish. 40-50% longer than our competitors do with the same amount of batteries. Wer, wer es nicht verstanden hat, ganz interessant, man kann ihn mit verschiedenen Volt-Systemen fahren. Das haben wir auch schon bei uns auf der Webseite, denn wir haben den schon zum Verkauf. Also ihr könnt selber entscheiden, wie viel Leistung ihr haben wollt. Und das Schöne ist, je höher der von der Leistung geht, je mehr fahren könnt ihr natürlich am Tag, also je mehr Ausdauer hat das Ganze. And the integration is working with, uh, with, 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 uh, with which models? So it, it works with, with all of our models. All, oh. all plotters. Okay, perfect. Uh, it connects over Wi-Fi to the plotters. Okay. Uh, so what you have is, of course, your standard foot pedal, yes. wireless, so wireless. you don't have to run any cables. Okay. Uh, and it's, of course, designed to be exactly in the right area where, um, so that it fits in the boat. You have a couple of quick, quick buttons here, you can control the speed and so on directly from here. 
or you have this bar that you can put on the screen. Yeah. So literally we can start um, and now we see it spinning down there. Okay. Uh, then we can steer the, the motor from here if we want to. We can do the auto anchor where it's literally trying to keep the boat in one position you, when you're yes. fishing. Yes. Uh, you can use it as a normal autopilot and just follow a route if you're fishing along a shoreline or Ooh. anything like that. Is there the function like uh, like other like other competitors that you have to follow the contour or something like that? Uh, we, so, we, do, we don't follow the exact contours yet. But so, but, that but is, you, can, you can create a route? Yeah, 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 you so can create a route. On, on the chart plotter with your finger maybe? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Or, or you can just do an auto guidance route that says, I want to go there and then it's going to draw a route for you automatically and then you say follow okay. and then the motor will follow. Okay, perfect. One other cool feature as well is that uh, the remote control that comes uh, with um, the motor, it's got a sensor inside, uh, a compass sensor, so you can actually with the, trolley mo with the uh, remote control just point and press and then the boat is going to go in that direction. Also that was gerade ganz interessant. Einmal habt ihr gehört, um, er hat diese normale Routenfunktion, das heißt, ihr könnt auf dem Touchscreen eine Route erstellen, die der Motor abfahren kann. Ihr könnt auf dem Touchscreen aber auch sagen, ich bin hier und möchte nach da, dann erkennt er automatisch, wo er herfahren muss. Das ist recht interessant. Und das richtig Tolle ist hier diese Fernbedienung. Ihr braucht sie nur in die Richtung halten und sagen, go there. Und dann macht der Motor genau, dass er dahin fährt. Also ganz tolles Feature. Cool. Yeah. I think it will be cool and working fine on the German market yes. also. Yes, yeah, yeah. We, um We're actually a little bit shocked ourselves <laughs> of, of the, uh, we have a lot of back orders. Unfortunately, think, uh, we have more orders than we can fulfill right now. We so. just start with it and yeah. we have also back orders. Yeah. Also, einige unserer, Kunden, einige unserer Kunden warten ja schon darauf, aber yeah. okay, es werden mehr. So, wie Pontes ja gerade gesagt hat, gibt es auch neue GPS-Map in kleinerer Ausführung, wo wir gerade sind. Und ja, yeah, Pontes, please, you have some new GPS maps also. Yeah, we have updated our, our mid-range GPS map plotters, the 7, 9 and 12 inch, um, for, for this show as well. And uh, one of the big things that we have done here is that we've added J1939 support. Uh, that is needed for engine integration. Okay. Uh, since we have a very tight partnership with Yamaha, for example, we can now, we also on these screens, with just one cable, plug in and eliminate all engine interfaces uh, that you have to have on your dash. So literally only the, um, the screen uh, controls your engine. Okay. So then we have yeah. special software like for Yamaha, for as Yamaha. an example, uh, which, which you can do everything you can do with all, all your Yamaha gauges you can do here, so that you can clean up the dashboard. I think bit. I have to explain something in German. Also, er sagte gerade, er sagte im Übrigen gerade, dass äh, sie dort eine neue Motorintegration geschaffen haben. Ein Kabel quasi Plug and Play und hier zum Beispiel jetzt eine, ein Yamaha Screen. Das heißt also alles das, was von dem Motor übertragen wird können die Modelle jetzt auch zeigen. Das ist wird richtig cool. Also das kennt man natürlich von, von früher schon über NMA 2000, von vielen anderen, aber er sagte, die haben die Integration einiges erweitert. Okay, so, that was the motor integration. Yeah, uh, let's see what we have on this one here. We also have added uh, something called uh, One Helm. We have a lot of partners in the industry that wants to be on the screen. Uh, we also added that functionality on to, to these. In the past, we only had it on the bigger screens, but now we do it all the way down into down to the seven inch. That means digital switching partners, uh, things like uh, Polko here as an example, which is lights uh, that you can then control things directly from the screen. So everything is attached through the system and, and accessible directly from the screen. Okay. So we're bringing that functionality of the really high-end products also into this section in the middle section. Also er sagte jetzt gerade, die haben diese die haben die Kooperation auch erweitert. das ist für den Boating Bereich sehr sehr interessant, das was früher auf den ganz großen High-End Level Geräten waren, haben die jetzt in die kleineren mit reingebaut und wie man gerade sehen konnte, hat er zum Beispiel die LEDs, also die Beleuchtung über das Gerät schalten können. Also da ist auch einiges erweitert. Ich denke, das werden wir in Zukunft dann schön zeigen können, wie man auch das ganze Boot dann vernünftig vernetzen kann. Im Übrigen ganz kurz mal eben darauf hingewiesen, wir sehen hier GPS Map 9 42 und GP GPS Map 7 42. Das wird in Deutschland, would it be the 9 22 and, yes. and uh, yeah. 7 22. Also in Deutschland wird es 7 22er und 9 22er. Hier in Amerika haben die etwas andere Nummernsysteme. Yeah. Das, aber die Geräte sind die gleichen. And the reason for that is that it's got uh, American mapping built into it. That's why yeah. it's a different. Das sind diese amerikanischen Mappen, also amerikanische Karten, die quasi in dem Gerät hinterlegt sind. Und die brauchen wir in Europa natürlich nicht, weil wir bei uns rumfahren und nicht hier. 
Uh, the sonar features are the same as it was in the past. You have one kilowatt chirp. Okay. Uh, also, one kilowatt chirp, 1000 yeah. watt chirp. Yeah. Uh, on the seven and nine, uh, and you also have clear view on yeah. those. If you go up to the 12 inch, then we also have side view. The standard side view, 455, 800. Uh, okay. So, so for, as I see, so for the nine and for the seven, is also side view in, included or not? No. No. Ah, okay. No. Okay. Side view is only on. Yeah, because, uh, this is a demo. That is a demo. Okay. Yeah. Kurze Information: Das 9er und das 7er hat kein Side View in dem Fall, also kein Side Scan. Die haben nur Clear View, also nur den Blick nach unten. Aber ein gutes Traditional Chip, that will be, I think, very good uh, unit maybe for Norwegian fishing, so yes. in the, the deeper water yeah. or something Co like coastal that. Coastal water, deeper coastal water. Waters, yeah. it's, it's a very good product. Also, gerade für die Norwegen Angler. Für die Norwegen Angler zum Beispiel kann das interessant sein, weil das Gerät eine sehr sehr hohe Sendeleistung hat und man kommt weit runter. And what is with the integration for the live scope and something like yeah. that? All of these units uh, that we have been talking about, of course, can can uh, connect to the LVS32, the live scope. Okay. Also die können alle mit dem live scope im Übrigen gekoppelt werden. Also das geht. And that is also possible with the nine and, and seven. Yes. Und, yeah. Okay. Also live scope im Übrigen könnt ihr auch ans 9er und ans 7er anschließen. Auch wenn die kleineren Geräte eben keinen Sidescan haben. Ja, ja, cool. Ja, yeah, nice, really nice. Yes. So Chart Integration, ja. Kartenintegration, wie man es kennt vom GPS Mapping. Top. So, that looks be nice. I think that will be good for the future. I so, definitely hope so. I'm looking forward for the future. Yeah, we also, and I think uh, the next year will be great. I think so because the units are bought. Absolutely cool. So, yeah, perfect. Okay, Pontus, I will say thank you for the news. Yeah, so, thank you. you. Maybe we see us, I think, in January on the boat show in Düsseldorf. Definitely, Thanks. I okay. will be there. I always perfect. come to your perfect boat show in, in Germany. <laughs> Thanks. Thank okay. you. Have a nice show, and then see us in Germany. Yeah, and have a nice day here in South Florida. Thank you. Thank you.